Aloha and welcome. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be working on a breath work that I like to call box breath. So for this practice, you don't necessarily need a mat, but you can grab a mat and roll it out on the floor. If you have a pillow or something that you like to sit on, go ahead and grab that as well. Find a nice, comfortable seated position. So we're going to get started in this comfortable seated position. Take your palms, place them down on the tops of your thighs. So for box breath, I like to imagine a box shape, more like a square in my mind. Each side of the square represents four seconds of a breath. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it, but get that image of a square in your mind. And let's close our eyes. So close your eyes and imagine that square for our first four second inhale in through the nose all the way down to the base of the belly. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Pause for one, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Pause with that full breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Pause on that empty breath for one, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Pause. Exhale. Pause, empty breath. Inhale. Pause with full breath. Exhale. Pause with empty breath. Good, continue with this pattern on your own. So you're inhaling for four seconds, pausing with full breath for four seconds. Exhaling for four seconds, pausing with empty breath for four seconds. So as you're breathing, you might imagine yourself traveling along each edge of that square, bringing your mind's eye to the here and now, really focusing on the breath, holding the breath, exhaling the breath, pausing with empty breath, and inhaling once more. Continue this pattern for a few more rounds on your own. Try to count internally. You can even tap your finger for each count if you prefer that. Bring yourself into this moment here. Good. Now let's begin to breathe in and out through the nose in a more yogic, traditional way. As you inhale in through the nose, let your belly expand with your big inhale breath. And just let it go. Release that pattern. Big inhale in through the nose, fill your belly. And exhale out, let it go. Just release that pattern. 
beautiful. Now we're going to move just gentle, gentle stretches with our breath. So inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Big breath in, expand up through those fingertips. And as you exhale, take your palms to the tops of your knees. Lean back, so you wanna pull in through your low belly, tuck through your chin. And then inhale, open your shoulders back, lift through your heart, roll those shoulders back, look up to the sky, expand through the chest. Exhale, curl back up and in, pull in through your low belly, look down towards your belly button. Inhale, roll those shoulders back, look up towards the sky, open through the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two more times, curl in with your exhale. So this is just like cat-cow breathing, but we're seated. Inhale, open your chest up towards the sky, look up. Exhale, curl in. Nice, now as you inhale, let's take those arms back up to the sky, reach up, expand. Now as you exhale, let's twist to the left. Take your right hand to the top of your left knee, left hand back behind you, tend to your fingers. Lift up tall through the heart, roll that left shoulder back. Good. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, expand. Exhale, twist to the right. So take your left hand to the top of your right knee, right hand back behind you, tent those fingers, roll that right shoulder back, twist, sit up tall twist the spine, maybe even look back out past that right shoulder. Nice, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. This time as you exhale, take your hands down by your sides. Lean back so you can unravel your legs. Expand your right leg out to the right. Take your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Sit up tall, big breath in. Now as you exhale, let your right forearm come down to the inside of your right shin. Roll your left shoulder back and just reach over towards your right toes. Flex your right toes. Lift through your heart and spiral your rib cage towards the sky. Let this feel good through your left side waist. Deep breath in and out reach just a little bit more. Nice job, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, expand up high. Exhale, lean back. We're gonna switch sides. So expand your left leg out to the left. Right foot goes to the inside of your left thigh. Big breath in, reach your arms up to the sky. Create length. Now as you exhale, gently take that left forearm to the inside of your left thigh or shin. Right arm reaches over towards those left toes. Flex those left toes. Roll your right shoulder back, lift through your heart and spiral your rib cage towards the sky so you really feel a nice stretch through the rib cage to your right side waist. Deep breath, open your chest out. Let your exhale reach just a little bit more towards your toes. Nice job, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, your arms down by your sides. Now we're going to take both feet in towards one another. Butterfly pose. So soles the feet together, knees apart, pull those heels close towards your hips. Hands will interlace around your feet, roll your shoulders down and away, lift through your chest. Inhale in. Now as you exhale, just hinge forward slightly. You wanna press those hips back, elbows, press your knees away, heart towards the front of your room or your toes. Feel that nice sweet spot and then begin to just let it go. Relax your head and neck when you find that nice sweet spot. You should feel a good stretch through your low back, through your hips, even a little bit into those shoulders. Steady breath in and out through the nose. Beautiful, inhale, reach those arms up towards the sky. Now as you exhale, slide your heels just slightly forward. So you're gonna create more of a diamond shape with your legs. Take your palms face up. Slide them right underneath your heels. And then begin to bend your elbow. So you want to actually curl in in this posture. It's called tortoise pose. So you're really curling in, tuck through your chin. Feel a nice stretch through the shoulder blades, through the low back. Nice, deep breath in. Use your arms as leverage to kind of pull yourself in closer. Good, inhale, rise back up, reach those arms up towards the sky. And exhale, 
Bend, extend your legs out long in front of you, flex your feet. Make sure you're really sitting down in towards your mat so you're grounded down through those hips. Flex your feet towards your face. So you want those toes to point straight up and back towards your face. Engage your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, begin to hinge forward. Melt yourself over your thighs. Take a nice forward fold. So we're going to stay in this forward fold for a few rounds of breath. So to really allow yourself to kind of work into this posture, I like to think about surrendering the upper half of the body towards the thighs. So the upper half of the body kind of relaxes in while the legs are engaged, flex through your feet. Palms are face up by the sides of your shins. Allow yourself to fold in kind of like a rag doll. If you need to bend those knees slightly to bring them closer towards your chest, allow yourself to do so. This is really good for the low back. This is really good for the hamstrings. Remember your breath deep into the belly and out. Good. One more breath here, stay with it. The key to getting more open in this pose is to just let go into this pose. Good, inhale, let's begin to unravel. Come on, back up, nice work. And then we're gonna take our legs out long and we're just gonna roll down onto our back. And just take a nice, simple twist here. So hug your knees towards your chest and drop your knees over to the right, left arm out to the left. Get a nice release through that low back. Keep your shoulders down on the earth. Good, inhale back through center. Hug your knees towards your chest and just rock those knees in the opposite direction. Right arm out to the right. Get a nice decompression of the spine. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good, inhale back through center. And then let's take those legs up towards the sky. We're just gonna take a nice, simple inversion. If you do like to practice any other inversion, please feel free to do so here. I'm just going to instruct this nice, simple legs up the wall or legs to the sky variation. So with the legs just reaching up to the sky, let your hips feel secure in towards the earth, but let those legs just feel relaxed. So notice my feet aren't flexed. Maybe you wanna just wiggle those legs out to let go if you feel like you're holding on anywhere. Now just let the palms face up by your sides, close your eyes. If you do have a wall handy, now is a wonderful time to go and just put those legs up against the wall, close the eyes and focus on your breath. This is a wonderful posture to get into the parasympathetic state, which we've been working on through this class the entire time. But this one is really nice to just get that blood flow to reverse from the feet, any fluid buildup in the feet. Let it release. Pause here. So you want to stay in this posture for about five more breaths. Allow yourself to just melt in. Be present with any sounds around you. Any thoughts that come into the mind, let them draw in and let them go just as easily. For this last breath, let's take an inhale in through the nose and exhale it out the mouth. So big inhale in. <sighs> Let it go completely. If you are against the wall, feel free to stay with your legs up against the wall as long as you would like. If you are not against the wall, you can come into a traditional Shavasana. Let the legs extend out long, let the toes drop out. Palms face up and just close your eyes. Let it go completely. Allow yourself to melt in towards the earth. 
You release control of the breath. Soften in towards the mat. Please feel free to stay, legs up the wall or traditional shavasana as long as you need today. If you would like to move about with your day, do so slowly. Take your time. Roll on up into a comfortable seat. And if you are joining me, take your hands to heart center. Close your eyes. And take a moment here to reflect on your practice, reflect on your day. Maybe set an intention for the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is for you. And let's honor the light that dwells within each and every one of us. Namaste. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Katie and this here is Bradley. If you would like to send me a message about anything that you like here or want to see more of, go ahead and send me a message on Instagram at Katie Marie Yoga. You can even subscribe and comment here and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining. Aloha.